Hello friends. Today we are going to read the punctuation marks journey. The author is Lu Ti Luang. The illustrator is Wu Ti Tui Dong. The translator is Shannon David and the publisher is Room to Read. So let's read the punctuation marks journey. So what is a punctuation mark? That is a part of a sentence, a thing in a sentence that is used to divide up the sentence and form the sentence into a piece. So the, for example, there is full stop, comma, question mark, and exclamation mark. These are all punctuation marks. And it sounds like they had a journey. Let's see what experience they had. This is exclamation mark, full stop, question mark, and comma. So here you can see exclamation mark. It's the line with the dot under it. Full stop, just the dot, comma, and question mark. It's the curved line and the dot under it. These are all punctuation marks. They are punctuation marks who need a job in this book, but they aren't sure where to go. So they're all sitting here and they're thinking, what do we do in this book? They're not sure. So let's see what happens. Letters and words are zooming about trying to form sentences. Where do the punctuation marks fit in? What should they do? So on the book, there are letters, right? These are all letters. There is E, S, N, and so on. And they are trying to form a sentence like this. And where do punctuation marks fit into the sentence? They are trying to find that out. Well, I know where I belong, says full stop. I always stand at the end of a sentence. So here is full stop. And she is very sure what she needs to do. You know, she says, I am always at the end of a sentence. Great. That sounds great. No, I go at the end of a sentence, says question mark. So here comes a long question mark and he pushes full stop out and he says no I am at the end of the sentence not you so who's right no way yells exclamation mark I am the one who belongs at the end of a sentence so next comes along exclamation mark he says she says she is also at the end of a sentence. So who is right? Nobody can agree. And the letters and words just keep zooming around in confusion. So they're all busy fighting amongst each other. The full stop, exclamation mark, and question mark. Each of them says, I am the one who needs to be at the end of a sentence and they can't agree on that. So all of the letters are still confused because there is nothing 
stopping them. There is nothing forming them into order. What will we do? Asks Kama. So here is Kama and he's tired. He's like, oh no, they're all fighting. They're all fighting over here. What will we do? So what does Kama do? Kama stands in the middle of bickering punctuation marks and tries to separate them. So here is Kama and while they are all bickering, meaning fighting and arguing, Kama is standing in the middle and trying to separate them and stop them from fighting. There is room for all of us among these words and letters, says Kama. Let me show you. So Kama says, every punctuation mark has a reason to be there. And there is place for all of us. You're right, Kama. Everyone says, we are tired of arguing. Show us what to do. So the other punctuation marks, they all are tired of arguing and they just want an answer. So what does Kama do? Kama shows the other punctuation marks how he does his job. Kama organizes all the words into a list and stands between each word, separating them to make the list easier to read. What do you see in Kama's list? So here you can see Kama organizing all of the words into a list. He's gathering them and putting them into order, right? And putting Kama in between, he's standing between each of the words. So there are all of these words. You can see a pot, a deer, a mountain, a fruit, some leaves, a tortoise, a basket, and a haystack. And comma is between each of them. What does that do? That organizes these words into a list, not just words floating around. So when you put a comma, it makes it into a list and it makes the list easier to read. Because if one of these uh, items had two words. Let's say this one is a bundle of leaves. How do you know where this item stops, where the words belonging to this item are over and then this item starts, right? You have to separate a bundle of leaves from tortoise and you do that using a comma. Now that Kama has found where he belongs, can question mark, exclamation mark, and full stop figure out what kind of sentences they should make? So now we know what Kama is able to do. Now we know where Kama needs to be. So what about the others? The full stop is placed at the end of declarative sentences like this one. So what is a declarative sentence? It is a sentence that just makes a statement that is true, that is accepted by everybody, that everybody is agreeing with and it and that's what a full stop is used for at the end of such a sentence. And this is one example. And here is the full stop at the end of it. Do you also see the comma here? What is it doing? It is breaking up the sentence into another piece just to make it easier to read. 
the exclamation mark is used to express emotions like happiness anger or excitement so what is the purpose of the exclamation mark it is about showing some emotion whether it is happiness or excitement so if you are saying something in an excited way let's go and play what would you put at the end of that sentence you would put an exclamation mark like this and another example is a, is an of another emotion is anger if your mother shouts at you you have made such a mess in the kitchen when she is angry then she will put an exclamation mark at the end of that sentence and do you know what kind of sentence ends with a question mark so what do you think a question ends with a question mark just like this sentence is ending with one any question ends with question mark so now we know how full stop exclamation mark and question mark are all used at the end of a sentence but they are different types of sentences don't forget the word that comes after question mark exclamation mark and full stop should start with a capital letter because it will be the beginning of a new sentence so when you finish a sentence with any one of these punctuation marks the next word will start with a capital letter while the punctuation marks were talking they remembered the letters and words zooming around in confusion so when the story started what was happening the punctuation marks were not knowing what to do and where to go and so the letters on the page of the book were not organized they didn't know what to do and they were moving around so now what can you do we have an important job the punctuation marks say look how confused the letters and words are without us so now these punctuation marks are going to organize the letters and words because they are confused without the marks now the punctuation marks know what they need to do so now they are all happy because they know their job now they know that their job is to organize the words into sentences and they know where each of them belongs i hope you enjoyed this story thank you here are some example sentences where we can add punctuation marks i went to the market today and bought oranges mangoes bananas and lemons so this is a list of things that i bought at the market there are oranges mangoes bananas and lemons so when you have a list of things you separate them and organize them using commas so you will have commas between oranges mangoes and bananas and lemons also this is a statement of fact it is a declarative sentence that is simply telling you something it is not asking a question and it doesn't have any emotion you are not angry or surprised or excited 
So, at the end of this sentence, there will be a full stop. Where did you go today? This is a question. It is not a fact and it doesn't have any emotion. So, at the end of this sentence is a question mark. You have made such a mess in the classroom. This is a sentence that has an emotion in it. It has anger. You are angry that there is a mess. And so, at the end of this sentence, there will be an exclamation mark. Try adding punctuation marks to these sentences where they should be. Will you go to the park with me? Today, I have to study maths, science and English. Going to the circus sounds exciting. 